I've got a bombshell update that's sure to stir the pot in the rugby world. Just as the All Blacks are gearing up for a critical phase in their season, a major shakeup has hit Scott Robertson's coaching staff. Leon McDonald, one of Robertson's key assistant coaches, has suddenly stepped down. And the reason? Well, it depends on who you ask. Robertson calls it philosophical differences on rugby and how it should be played. But could there be more to the story? Robertson, a coach who's already made a name for himself with a history of success at the Crusaders, brought McDonald on board this year to sharpen the All Blacks attack. The two had worked together briefly in 2017 at the Crusaders, where they tasted victory in Super Rugby. So why, after just five tests under Robertson's leadership, is McDonald walking away from the All Blacks? Robertson didn't shy away from the controversy when he addressed the media. Leon's a really good man, a good person, a really good coach. I'm standing here because we came to a mutual agreement. We feel it's best for the All Blacks that he steps away. On the surface, it sounds like an amicable split, but when Robertson goes on to say, just a little bit of philosophy on rugby, how it was played, and it just didn't quite click in different aspects. It's hard not to wonder if there's more going on behind the scenes. Was this truly a mutual agreement, or were there deeper clashes, maybe even power struggles, that led to this sudden exit? And then there's the timing. With crucial tests on the horizon and the rugby championship looming, this isn't exactly the ideal moment for such a shakeup. Is this split really about philosophical differences? Or is it a sign of bigger issues within the All Blacks coaching structure? Just as this news was breaking, Tim Horan, a Wallabies legend, threw his hat into the ring, stirring even more controversy. Horan is urging Australia's head coach, Joe Schmidt, to reach out to McDonald and see if he's interested in jumping ship. Imagine the headlines if McDonald, fresh off his stint with the All Blacks, joins forces with the Wallabies. Horan didn't hold back, saying, It's worth a phone call. If you are Joe Schmidt and you have been coaching colleagues in the past, it has got to be worth a phone call. Even if it is not a full-time coaching opportunity, it could be a come over, have a look, tell us what you see and what you think. Leon may not be looking for another job, but he knows Joe well. Horan's comments are sure to spark debate, not just about the potential recruitment, but also about what it means for the rivalry between New Zealand and Australia. Is McDonald really ready to jump ship? And if so, what kind of impact could that have on the Wallabies game plan? More importantly, how would All Blacks fans react to one of their former coaches potentially aiding their trans-Tasman rivals? And let's not forget the tactical implications Horan pointed out. Just the attacking structure, I was reasonably impressed with the first two games against Wales and how they got width in their game. It just hasn't been there since those first two tests. Could McDonald, with his inside knowledge of the All Blacks playbook, be the missing piece the Wallabies need to topple their rivals? So, where do you stand on this? Was McDonald's departure really about rugby philosophy, or was there a clash of egos that couldn't be resolved? And what do you think about the idea of him possibly joining the Wallabies? Could this be a game changer, or is it just a distraction? We want to hear your thoughts. Let's get the debate rolling in the comments.